Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2 with Trix2. We're going to use the key here, unlock this door. We're going to open the door, because these are two separate actions for some reason. Step through, we're going to go ahead and close and lock the door again. We don't really need to, but there's no reason not to. And presumably this guy has a spare key anyway. Alright, so we'll talk to him. Sure took the fight of them rats. Yep, yeah, well bullets will do that. So let's go ahead and leave here. We need another level up before the toxic caves, which is our next major objective. Now there's a few quests to be done here. Uh, I kind of want to do the toxic caves before I do one of the quests here, uh, which is fortunate because Tor here is standing in the way. Um, we are going to save the game. This is going to be our... Yes, it's... We're going to now make this just our quick save. Let's make our quick save. So that when we need this quick save, we can use that. Uh, yes, hello, Tor. Nice to meet you. Anything interesting happening here lately? Bugmen take moomoos at night. Tor is scared. Help, Tor. If you have a very low intelligence character, this is incredibly... He's incredibly eloquent and intelligent, and it's hilarious. Uh, sure, Tor. I can help you guard the Brahmin. Uh... You help Tor, Moomoo's field, points east of here. Now, yes, smile. I'll help you guard the Brahmin now, Tor. Alright, so... We arrive, Brad Scorpion immediately tries to kill me. Uh, you may notice some people over here. Now, if you had played this at a low resolution, you'd get about this much screen, and you would ha wouldn't notice those two. However, if we can come over here... It, y yes, if you, if you don't mind. And you really kind of need to be shot in the face. And I've missed. Well, brilliant. Alright, we'll end the turn. The other one will try to kill us. Uh, and do a rather depressingly large amount of damage. Excuse me. Can you... Can you stop missing? And he gets two free swings. Um, can I kill you with a head, with a nut, with a shot to the head? Oh, you know what? It's not worth the aim shot. You get shot as well. Alright, I need to get into the inventory right now. Because I need a stim pack, or I'm going to die. And that would be annoying. Not to mention embarrassing. As long as you have you standing here, here you go. Have one in the face. Or, tr well, try. Alright. Shoot some more. Right. Would you stop hitting me? I'm only trying to shoot you in the face. Oh my god. Die. Thank you. Can we end combat? Are we far enough? Alright, so, crush your enemies, aim to 140 experience and 5 karma. Now, there's a problem with this pistol, and this is the problem, this damage range. Anywhere from 5 to 12 damage is just massively annoying. So, that's one of the problems we're having, because our next... Take that, take that. Alright, let's go finish off the rest of these Brad Scorpions, because there are Brad Scorpions down here. Turns out these two idiots were luring them over towards Tor. And there are other ways to deal with it, but there's a benefit to doing it this way. Okay, I was aiming at that one and shot that one. Well, brilliant. Excuse me. Please be. How did I m miss the one I was actually shooting at again? Have a bullet. Have another bullet. Bullets for everyone. Now, this would be so much easier with a hunting rifle. But I'm sadly entirely out of those. Then move five forward and fire a shot. Kill him. One left. Can I kill you from here? Fantastic. End the combat. Alright, 360 experience. 
Now, there is, however, a hut over here, and this you can't get back to this map, as far as I'm aware. But if you come in here, there is... Uh, red scorpion limbs, which... I don't remember what they do. Or if they even do anything. However, there is some meat beef jerky in here. There's a pot. Can we search the pot? We can't search that pot. That one. That one, or that one. I... I believe the Duntons even offer you to... Offer you a chance to help them scare Tor away from the cows. Although I don't, I've never done that because I've never played a character that's that much of a jerk. But now we can go back over here and have a word with Tor. Bugs dead. Mumu safe. Tor, thank you. Right. So was that the quest done then? Because I really don't want to accidentally have failed this quest. But that seems seems to be okay, as far as I can tell. Yep, gained 250 experience points and 50 karma. Huzzah. That also mo it moved Tor out of the way. However, is this the room we need? I think this is the one we need. Yep, open this door. And this is where the Duntons used to live. And the Duntons, now being dead, cannot complain when I take all their stuff. Which is very handy. Uh, we have very low lock picking, which is irritating. Excuse me. Um, uh, lock pick is two. Let's try lock picking this a bit. If this doesn't work, we will switch to an alternate plan. Uh, now, why exactly you don't get a key off of either of the Duntons, I don't no, but amusingly, you actually lose karma if you kill them while they're here, and the whole town goes hostile. But if you kill them while they're irritating Tor, then I wonder if your sledgehammer does better at this. Yeah, and we're just going to smack the door. Uh, okay. In, com in combat, let's try using the crowbar then, because apparently we're not strong enough to use the sledgehammer, which is not entirely fair. Uh, come on, smack it again. Okay, seriously, can you just break the stupid door? I am not wasting explosives on this door. Okay. Hit the bloody door. I am... Okay. I know there's... I know I can blow this door open. I do know that. I don't want to blow this door open if I can avoid it. Also, I don't have any more explosives on me. Which is irritating beyond belief. Come on. Break the door down. Okay. Uh, you know what? I can come back to this. I wanted the loot that's in there, but apparently I can't get it. Let's go have a word with the proprietor of the Golden Gecko, Barter. Do you have the things that I want? You do not, although you do have some money, which... You can have those. Oh, those are apparently very valuable. Interesting. Uh, give me all of that. Thank you. I want... No. I want all of it. Thank you. Oh, you're not going to give me anything for that. Oh, you jerk. Here, I have a sledgehammer that I can't use. Alright. Uh, don't... Alright. Done. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, offer that. I always want to give them a little bit of a bonus. Because that way they have 
Alright, so now we have more ammunition for our gun, which incidentally needs to be reloaded. Did I come in here loot his... loot the back of his place? I don't remember if I did. And he doesn't seem to object if I loot it. Um, there's nothing, nothing va more valuable in here. Hmm. How much? What do we need to do our next level? We need 320, 220 experience. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Uh, I think there's actually something in this room back here. Because the Duntons were making beef jerky, which is why they had some on them. Aha! Uh -huh, hello. Now, what's in here? More beef jerky! Yay, I don't need no another knife. So beef jerky, if I'm recalling correctly, does actually have some healing properties. Ah, iguana on a stick. Yum. Okay. Iguana, two different types of iguana on a stick. Which is kind of hilarious. Um, speaking of which, and we'll eat that as well. No? Yes? And we picked up a sledgehammer. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I, pfft, hmm. I really don't want to go and try that next quest. I, actually, where's the other guy in here? Hello, is it you? Uh, ah, Whiskey Bob. This is the man I'm looking for. My name is Buffy. Nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. Always nice to find another drinking buddy. Want to buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Sure, don't mind a bit. Thanks for the drink, partner. Now that my whistle's wet, I feel that I can sh share a little problem I have. Hey, maybe you can help me out. How can I help you out? Uh, well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since a gecko done bit my leg, I can't hobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth $50 to me. It doesn't sound too bad. Tell me more. All I have to do is find a little shack south of town go inside and dump some firewood into the still. Then come back here and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day or my batch of hooch will go bad. Sounds pretty easy. Okay, I'll do it. You'll do it? Great. Remember, gotta do it soon or my hooch will go bad. Thanks, a heap. See you back here soon. See you in a day. So, he's not kidding about the time limit. There is one. Um, this is an odd quest. If not difficult, no. Um, but... What I want to do is save the game. I want to use our quick save. Yes, I don't care. Because basically what we need to do is sprint our way through here without getting geckoed. Yeah, these little guys, not so much of a problem. It's these big buggers that are an issue. You please be shot and killed. Okay, fine. Come over here where I can shoot you better. And how about you? Nope. You're gonna move. That's fine. Come up. Come closer. Come into my. Yeah. These things do entirely too much damage for their size, and our combat. So we're gonna come down here. Uh, which side is the door on? Door's on this side. So we'll come in here. Usually you can get away without shooting any of the geckos. And the reason to not shoot the geckos will become a thing later. Uh, let's take the whiskey. Take the moonshine, rather. Where is Here we go. Pick up some firewood. Uh, Ten pounds of firewood and kindling. We go over here and activate the distillery. And oh, do we have to use the firewood on it? I 
me. So, there you go. Sounds as though the hooch is distilling nicely now. You gain 100 experience points for refueling a still. And 10 karma, which is odd, but okay. Shoot you. Reload. Um, excuse me. That's a 76% chance. Can you please not... In combat, and we're gonna sprint out. No, we don't want to tangle with us. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot him in the head. All right, in turn. Now, hopefully, yeah, these guys think 45 hit points, and this gun has such a wide damage range. That you eh. that sometimes you get great results, sometimes you can't. Fortunately, all right. No, 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 no. Come on, we need to get out of here before we die. Because dying is embarrassing, and I hate doing it. So we really need more gun skill. <coughs> I mean, really. Really need more gun skill. Um, fortunately, at level four, we don't get a perk. Unfor unfortunately, however, we can now go and basically max out our gun skill. Now, once you've reached past this point, so you can see this takes one point. So at this point, it now takes two to increase it any further. So 101 percent is about the best you can get. Uh, ooh. We can improve our sneak skill. Sneak skill is going to be useful. Or not sneak skill, lockpick skill. So with a lockpick of 73, we shouldn't have any trouble getting through that locked door now. Fantastic. So we can now head back to the Duntons. We should be able to now breach this door pretty easily. Uh, he says this, and then fails to pick the door. Excuse me. Now look. Game, why must you make a liar out of me? This is a very tough door. Aha! Got it. Just takes a little patience. Takes a little patience, something I am slightly lacking in. Aha! Cat's paw. More beef jerky. Um, all the beef jerky, thank you. We take all that. Now that means we can go over here. And, yeah, Tor is, by the way, permanent. Permanently gone from the this main area, as far as I can tell. Oh, let's talk to Bob. Uh, well, thanks for refueling my still. Here's your $50, too. Got any questions I can answer for you? Uh, no, thanks, Bob. I think I know, know what I need to know already. And 15 karma. Karma's good. Uh, let's barter. Cause, ah, Molotov cocktails. How very interesting. Um, let's see. What, uh, what do you have that I want? Uh, money is what you have. Uh, the jerky doesn't seem to do any good, so we'll go ahead and sell that. Um, can you also have... Alright, you have uh, all of that. And... What more do you have that I really want? The answer is a stim pack, but... Uh, all those. Yeah, it's 425... Alright. All of that. Alright, and the crowbar, so we can get. Oh. I hate that it scrolls one and not over the other. Uh, four, 490, so it's. 45? Uh, oh.
And that should be an even trade. Yep. I do like the even trading. Alright, I uh, guess I don't need anything else. That's it. Alright, so we have leveled up. Um, we should be able if we use him as our test. Yeah, if we can hit him, hit his head pretty well. Which is good. Um, hmm. I could have sworn. Oh, right. We need to go. An issue of Cat's Paw magazine. So this doesn't do anything right now. It will be useful later, however. Uh, Golden Gecko. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. I know what there, what else there is to do in town. Oh, right, because we were still in combat. All right, forgot about that. Uh, so over here, there. Yeah, I think that's the one we want. So there's a busted robot here, and we're gonna save this because this robot is stupidly tough. And we'll come in here. And this is a this robot has sustained a great deal of damage. The surface is covered with dents, scratches, mud, and broken wires. Ow. Really? My end combat. So what we want to get is over here. Uh can we actually hit Okay, so robots have manipulators, motivators, a regulator, which I'm never sure, quite sure what it does, but it's essentially the crotch of the robot, the frame, and the CPU. The CPU is the head, and the sensors. We're going to shoot at the sensors. See if we can... Yes. Reload that. Sensors impaired, sensors impaired, and the turn. Robot turns up. And we can smash it pretty good. Alright, now that it's right here, we're going to see if we can destroy the sensors. Uh, we cannot, so we got to run away. Hit the sensors again. We basically... robot isn't quite fast enough to catch us. Which is kind of funny. Uh, let's see if we can hit it in a regulator. Ah! It critically hit breaking the sensors, which means the sen it, it, its eyes are now crippled. End the turn. Uh, and we've killed it. And we can end combat. And we get 200 experience for killing the robot. Because that's a really tough fight if you don't get lucky. Alright, dead robot. So come over here, and we meet... A vertebrate for the very first time. Now this is kind of a special vertebrate in that it contains a couple of corpses and is yeah there's nothing on this guy. But this guy on the other hand, person in strange type of armor, has a yellow key card which will become useful later. So this vertebrate, if you've played through Fallout New Vegas, is important to two people there. One of them is the... I cannot remember her name now. The, oh, Daisy in Novak, who is a member of the Enclave, who is an ex-member of the Enclave. Spo I'm sorry, spoiler alert. Who's an ex-member of the Enclave, and this is actually her vertebrate. She was the pilot of this vertebrate, and... She, she managed to crash it here and survive and left, whereas these two didn't survive. The other person that's important too is Lily, because one of the blades, one of these blades, later goes on to become Lily's vertebrate blade, which is her unique bumper sword. So it's really kind of a cool callback to this particular area. Uh, hello, random person. You are just yeah, cl random calamity citizen. Alright, uh, as far as I can tell, other than resting, which we'll do until healed, there's nothing else to do in town. We've gone up one hit point. One lone maximum hit point that when we leveled up. We went from 39 to 40. It's brilliant. 
What wonder if four endurance will do you? All right. So we need another s f 3500 exp 3600 experience in order to level up. So it's gonna be a little ways off. However, for the moment, we're going to stamp stop here. Um, I need to go to the den. Well, step outside. I need to go to the den before I can go to the toxic caves. I just there's no better weapons here in the den or in Klamath. So we are going to just yeah, Trapper Town Trapping Grounds, which is what it still is, and then downtown. Uh, we're just gonna save the game here. So this has been Fallout 2 with Trix 2. I will see you guys next time. Bye.